Good morning and welcome to Digging SoCal. I am in the Sacramento area and I am back at the field where I think I pulled about six rings out of this, including the Tiffany ring, which I will uh, show you a picture of again. But, but uh, I'm gonna hit this uh, grass field first on this lovely trip. So hopefully I will find some cool stuff. And uh, during the week I'll hit some parks and more grass. So let's get to this hunt. All right, my first find will be a 21 on the VDI. Probably a penny, but got to start somewhere. I don't think it's that deep. Ground's hard. There it is. Yep. Starting off with a glorious penny. A nice 30 right here. That's what we got. I found another penny I found a pencil completely underground and then I found a uh, quarter that was pretty deep show all the way for a second all right I got it in here there we go quarter not too shabby it's an eagle back but it's Pretty uh, colored as far as turning that reddish orange. Uh, I think I was digging at 1415, and uh, this is pretty far down there. It's a nice piece of iron. Not really sure. It looks like I might have had a handle and uh, some type of a. Uh, that was kind of like one of those hammers or chisels, but I'm not sure. Definitely heavy though. Well, I did not want to mess up this plug, but uh, not that it's the nicest grass, but I had an 18 right here and I had to rip the plug apart. And uh, as you can see in here, I do have a ring inside there. So this field has not let me down yet. Yeah. Oh, cute little thing, I guess. There we go, I finally got it out of there. I will check it out and see if there's any markings. It's kind of could be silver, but who knows. Either way, I pulled another ring out of this field. That is awesome, keep that count going. The downside of being in a school field are these. Got another one. Um, I think I picked up three or four of these. I don't need them, I just tossed them in the garbage can. But I only keep a couple of them. They're in pretty good shape, this one. Yo, yellow number two, huh? Well, I think I did it again. I've been tearing at this plug. I had to tear it apart. Um, this is the last piece that has, uh, I thought I saw something shiny in here. Huh, where did you go? One hand is kind of hard, sorry. There it is. Yep, there is a ring in here. Probably, there we go. Yeah, I've gotten this type before. Came in as a sweet 16. There's a lot of work to get to it, 
But ring number two. All right, here's a question for y'all. How many times you pull a plug and the coin is at the bottom of the plug? It's like it knows where to be, even though this is really a junker penny, but nonetheless, that's pretty cool. The little things that fascinate me when I hear hunting treasure, always thinking when I'm out here, trying to figure out the whys and hows, All right, day two of my road trip vacation. You'd think I'd sleep in on a vacation. Wait, I'm retired, every day's a vacation. Anyway, I'm gonna check this park out. I noticed the biggest part of the park, which I've hit last time I was here, is fenced off, so this will be a quick park hunt. Um, I guess they're redoing that part, so, oh well. All right, I walked up upon this uh, first section here, and there is a doll. I will put this on this table over here so that maybe somebody will find it that wants it. Poor thing left behind. Well, all I've got so far was a dime here and a screw. I have a signal right here. Not a lot of targets, so I'll be moving on to another park here in a minute. Is that a quarter? What is that? California State Parks. <laughs> That's appropriate, even though we're not in a state park. At least I don't think it, this one is. It's a token. How cool. All right, I'm behind these swings right here, and I'm getting a very interesting signal. Huh, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Oh, I got a chain with a lucky horseshoe. Very cool. Wow, I'll have to check that out a little closer when it's a little lighter out. Get a 22 right here. Just on a uh, quarter diamond penny so far here. I know. What do got here? Oh, Chuck E. Cheese. Another token. <laughs> How funny. All right, park number four, and I've been to this park several times in the past, and it's always done pretty good for me. First find is part of a copper jacket to what looks like about the size of a nine millimeter. All right, I'm getting uh, two 25s down here into this uh, swing, tire swing thing. There's one. Dime. I kind of figured they'd be. And a quarter. Is there anything else here? Okay, still a 25 here. All right, sorry the GoPro shut off on me. It's having issues. Hopefully everything's working good. All right, there's another dime. So that's 45 cents underneath this thing so far. All right, I'm kind of trying to watch my head right here. I'm really good at banging my head. So getting a 21, 22 right here. I think this is park number five. I'm not getting tons of fines, but a few coins here and there. Odds and ends. Ooh. Wow. That is a interesting ring. A little tore up, broken. 
looks like there's a blinger but uh, hey that's ring number three on this trip so I found a hook with a magnet and I had to put it in my other pocket because it kept getting stuck to everything um, he got stuck to the shovels it was kind of a pain in the rear end but uh, look at a jumpy signal here yeah the magnet was in a separate pouch and I couldn't get the the uh, shovel out very easily so it's kind of funny Ooh, I got me a kid's ring. I guess that's ring number four. I hate to count these, but it is still a ring. When am I going to find gold? I need gold. Well, I don't need it, but I'd like to find some. All right, getting a uh, jumpy one here low 20s there we go I'm not really sure what that is huh very strange it looks like a button almost or something that's a cap to something That's a dragon or the sword. That's kind of cool. All right, getting 18 to 21 right here. Windy and cold today. Wow. Ooh, got a key. All right, that's cool. Interesting design. First key of the trip. All right, got a target right here. At another park yet. What the heck? Easter candy. How funny. Got the foil. I got an Easter egg. All right, getting a nice 12, 11, 12, 13 right here. See what we got. It's like the old saying, do you feel lucky, punk? That's uh dirty hairy if you didn't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna be real or not. 12, huh? Dang. Look at that chain, it's not very heavy. My luck is just gonna be bling, but wow. Holy smokes, that's pretty cool. I haven't got a chain in a long time. I will check it and see if it's got any markings and get back to you on that. Let me uh, get the eyepiece out. Doesn't feel like it's gonna be real. That would be nice though. All right, working. This park still is taking me a long time, but can you see how big this park is? Um, don't get that. Mainly nine right here. Right outside the swing drop zone. So, let's see what we got. Ooh, I see another chain. Oh, yeah. Dang, that was long. By the way, the gold, I believe, is just bling. There's no markings. Same with this one. Um, yeah. Getting bling chains. Okay, I'm getting a 1920 right here. I got some kids in the park now, so I gotta film straight down. What we got here? Yeah, clip on earring. It's got a name on it. Huh. Eh. It's bent over too. I want to break it. Cool. 
another pretty cool find well i was digging up what i thought was a penny a 2021 and i got this um museum of ice cream i had no idea there was even such a thing there's probably a museum for everything though cool i'm about done maybe one more park surface find butterfly glasses huh i don't think they're cheap either it's a little scratched all right day three i'm uh at a new park with a couple guys chris and robert and i've got a found a couple coins so far this one's 1819 so i have a star a star is born got the first bling i'm getting a jumpy signal right here Getting a jumpy signal right here. Uh. Ooh. A ring? Yeah. Ooh, diamonds. Nah, eh, just a junker. Kids ring. Ah, uh, a bling. It almost looks homemade, but very cool. Wonder what that would be on my machine. I don't know. There you go. Well, that is jumpy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, pretty cool find. Yeah. Ring number five on this trip. All right, I'm over here between these rocks. Get a uh, jumpy, jumpy signal again. Sounds like more than one target, possibly. Okay, here's the first part. Quarter. Set that here for a second. Ooh, I see a chain. Got a chain. That? I got a chain. It's all tangled up. Oh, a chain? It's in a knot. <laughs> Another piece of jewelry. And it's got markings. I have a magnifying glass. Yeah, pull it out. We'll check it. And I got a quarter right here. Oh, how can I miss that quarter knife can right here, too? That's funny. You snooze, you lose, Robert. <laughs> We're going to yeah. check this real quick and look at the clasp. And on the back of the heart, there's a marking. So I'm about two feet away from where I found the necklace, and it was marked 925. And um, I just found this. It came in as a 20. It is a ring. Gosh, I'm rolling in the stuff today. It's, it looks like a boinger. It's got rust on it and so discolored. It? Yeah, there's not gonna be any markings on this. No? Nah, uh -oh. it's a junker. The coloring's off. Gold would not um, tar have pieces flake off and look like that. Yeah. But wow, I'm rolling. Man, look at that. I know. I, it was, I thought it was gonna be a penny. It was kind of deep. Two rings in the top line. Yeah, uh -huh. that's six rings so far on this trip. <laughs> Doggy. All right, I just had a, another uh, hit, and I got my. This is actually my second Allen wrench on this trip. Another. That's the second Allen wrench this morning. Yeah, pretty <laughs> crazy. Why did they name him Allen? People losing tools. Come up with a better name than Allen. <coughs> I'm trying to put you back to work. All right, so I had a 23 right here, and I'm not really sure what I got. Um. It's all corroded over here. It looks like, I don't know if it's a ring or not. Look at that, look at that plug. Let's see if I can clean this up a little bit and see. Um, I don't think it's a ring. It's got a little groove right there. It's got a hole in it. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Is it a ring or is it something else? All right, we're over at park two. We got some guys over there detecting. I just got a signal here. 
One. I've been getting so much foil. Oh. I haven't had a ring like this in a while. Dang. Homemade ring. Very cool. What if that's that silver wire? I'm not sure, but that's pretty cool. All right, I was digging up a 16 here and I just uh, uncovered another ring and it's like the one I found up in LA. Wow, that pack through there. Oh, how funny. I think I got three or four of these though. Dang. Not too shabby. Like I said, I don't know if they're mood rings or not. I'm gonna put my finger on it for a second and see if it changes. Maybe, it looks like it got a little darker. Let's try this spot right here. Mm, it's hard to tell. Very cool. All right, I was digging up a 12 and I pulled this out. <laughs> What is that? Glasses. Oh, she's oh, what the rest is in here? <laughs> I think it's all in there, so let me get the rest of it. All right, I was able to uh, pull this piece back, and I can feel the lens. Is it in the hole? Yeah. Ah, sharp little booger. I gotta be careful. Just took my gloves off to do this, which was dumb. Ah, there you go. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. I was getting a two right here, moving around the pinpointer, and I see another chain. I swear, these chains are just awesome here. Look at that. Whoa. That looks... Dang. Look at the diamonds on that thing. I don't know what that was. Holy smoke. Chain. I almost stepped on this. I probably would, I probably would just step on it. How funny. An earring. Exactly. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's in good shape. Oh, I'll bring you some brightness here. Dang, that's nice. Wow. It's bent a little bit, but it could be fixed. Not that I wear them or anything like that. Yeah. I'm in kid jail. <laughs> How do I get out of here now? It's out of dome. Can't get through the top. There's fence up there too. I'm, I'm a prisoner. Right, maybe I can get Bill if I do. Well, somebody left a mess here. Big old party, I guess. But uh, check this out. Kitty cats. Masks. I suppose they'd be clean. A little heart. Cool. I might have to go back to the truck and get a garbage bag. This is ridiculous. All right, I just had a 13 here and uh, looks like I got an earring. Got the backing on it still. I think that's a backing. Looks like some wings. Very cool. Another 20. Ooh, shiny. Good ring. Nice. All right, everybody, that was a uh, fun hunt. I did three days. Um, first day, I don't even remember what I did. Jeez. Oh yeah, the field. I just did a field on the first day. The second day I hit, geez, I think a dozen mini parks out here. And then, um, today I hunted with Robert and Chris and we hit, I think three or four parks. So not too bad. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to take a break the rest of the week and let my body recover. And, uh, let's get to that wrap up. All right. This is day one. This is the school field and I think I threw away at least five or six of these pencils. Um, I'll probably keep the middle one. It's in the best shape. 
a couple of pieces of pencil. This is just a piece, I think, of aluminum. I'm not really sure what it was for. It looks really familiar, like a cover to something. Um, I'm not sure still what this is. And the, the nail's not that old. It's got the double head and then a screw. And I got can slaw, one uh, bottle cap, a washer, two pull tabs. Um, not a lot of change. Two quarters, three dimes, three nickels, and a handful of pennies. But I did manage to get two rings, and they're just blingers. Um, I have at least one or two of these um, rope-looking rings. And this one kind of looked exciting when it first came out of the ground, and you can see the discoloring on it, so it is just a blinger. But that's two rings on the trip. And then we're going to jump over here, and this is um, the day I hit like a dozen parks. I think this was holding uh, chalk, because there was chalk laying around it. I thought it was a cute little cup, so I kept it. Um, this egg was actually closed in, in the ground, a uh, tot lot, so I dug it up. I have over $6 in change. This was a better change day. And then um, pull tabs, bottle cap, beaver tail, um, some pieces to zipper pulls, hair pieces, a little bit of oddities here. And then uh, I did get these two chains here, the silver and the gold. And yes, they are not actually silver and gold. And then I got the horseshoe, which is upside down right now. Um, that's also not actual gold. Too bad. So th three chains here. That was kind of crazy. And then I've got this uh, museum of ice cream. That's really cool. And let's see here. We got the California State Parks token. And we've got, of course, a Chuck E. Cheese token. I've got quite a few of these now. This, Colonel Mustard with the wrench, is what I say. Um, found a tiny wrench. Must be for mice. And then I got this uh, earring here. It's got a brand name on it, but there's no markings. Not gold. And then two more rings. This one's broken, kind of discolored. And then I got this kid's ring here. And then I got, a, I believe it's a D. Probably came off a purse or bag or something like that. So not too bad. I said two keys, right? Yes, two keys. Oh, and then the bullet. I found this, which is the uh, casing, the jacket. Then I found the actual piece of lead. And then finally, I hunted with uh, Roger, uh, excuse me, Robert and Chris. And uh, we had a very interesting day. Two kitty cats, those are like masks, and they're really clean, so I'm not sure what to do with them. Maybe clean them really good and see if any of the kids want them. Um, three batteries. This thing's a big honker, not really sure what that is. One lid here. Pair, uh, glasses. Found both pieces to it. This looks like one of those things for a compressor. Bottle caps. Can slaw. All kinds of little pieces here. Um, tot lot and digging in the grass, um, stuff like this. It's a lid to something, it's kind of weird. A broken light bulb, a chewed on pencil, two Allen wrenches, pieces to a fingernail clipper, two lighter heads, um, pull tabs. I thought this was a, might have been a ring when I first saw it, but this, after doing a little research, this is the spinning part to a vape that controls the airflow. That's what the holes are for, so I did figure that out. Let's see, we got uh, a little bit less change, I think three to four dollars in change. And then we've got surface find earring. We've got a star. Uh, this is pretty cool. This could be that silver wire, but that was another ring. And then I got this ring. And I got this one. I think that might be a mood ring again. I've got several of these now. And then I got this little ring here. It's kind of cute. Little bead of some type in the middle. And then I got this kid's ring here. So not too bad on the rings, that's for sure. And then this was a little butterfly that's peeled off of something. I think it's got a sticker on the back, but it's metal. And then I've got this little earring right here. Let's see if I'm focusing on that. Looks like wings and a heart. It has a little the plastic backing on it. And then I got this. This is probably the score of the hunt. 
Oh, and this little piece of chain here too, I found. A little one of the black stone in it, but this is stamped Italy 925 and it's all tangled up right now. Um, but it is silver. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to say that's my best find of the hunt so far, but this, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what, nine rings on this hunt? That's pretty amazing. I'm still trying to find that elusive gold. I thought, I got really excited when I found this right here, this chain. I thought, man, I have it now, but uh, no, it's not gold. Anyway, it was a fun uh, hunt for this week. Like I said, three long days of hunting. Well, maybe the first day wasn't so long, but it was the grass was so hard. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one halfway through my trip. So be going back faster than I imagined because the time sure does fly when you're having fun. Catch you on the next one. Oh, one more thing. I have to mention that when I was setting all this up, a young lady came by and was trying to sell magazines for a contest, and I'm sure people have had that situation where they knock on your door and they want you to uh, buy a magazine or donate or whatever. But uh, we were talking for quite a while, and she had a tinier version of this, not much smaller than this necklace. Um, she was wearing it. Hers is also not real gold. She really liked this, so I told her when she comes back by the neighborhood on her way back, I will give her that necklace she was really excited. So that is going to have a home. Pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.